Tonight's story in the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a map of the United States. And there is a town there called Peaksville. On a given morning, not long ago, the rest of the world disappeared and Peaksville was left all alone. Its inhabitants were never sure whether the world was destroyed and only Peaksville left untouched or whether the village had somehow been taken away. They were, <coughs> on the other hand, sure of one thing, the cause. A monster had arrived in the village. Just by using his mind, he took away the automobiles, the electricity, <laughs> the machines, because it pleased him. <laughs> and he moved an entire community back into the dark ages just by using his mind. Mm. Now I'd <laughs> like to introduce you to some of the people in Peaksville, Ohio. This is Mr. Fremont. It's in his farmhouse where the monster resides. This is Mrs. Fremont and this is Aunt Amy who probably had more control over the monster in the beginning than almost anyone. But one day, she forgot. She began to sing out loud. <laughs> and the monster doesn't like singing. So his mind snapped on her, turned her into this smiling, vacant thing you're looking at now. She sings no more. And you'll notice that the people in Peaksville, Ohio have to smile. <laughs> they have to think happy thoughts and say happy things because once displeased, the monster can wish them into the cornfield or change them into a grotesque walking horror. Oh, this particular monster can read minds, you see. Oh, he knows every thought. He can feel every emotion. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I did forget something, didn't I? <laughs> I forgot to introduce you to the monster. This is little Anthony Fremont. Oh, he's six years old with a cute boyish face and blue guyish eyes but when those eyes look at you well you better start thinking happy thoughts because the mind behind them is absolutely in charge this is the twilight zone